wow, I wish you could see this in person. This is really, really pretty cool. These are all liquids stacked up inside of a graduated cylinder. Okay, technically it's not a graduated cylinder. If it were, it would have individual gradation lines on here to tell you exactly how much this cylinder was holding. Nonetheless, it's a clear cylinder. And if you look carefully while I tilt the cylinder, you'll notice that the layers still don't mix. And they keep themselves oriented approximately horizontal to ground level. So why is it they're doing this? How can they sit on top of one another like that without mixing? Well, that's your challenge for today. Is number one, I want you to kind of tell me why the layers of liquids are able to sit on top of one another. But more importantly, I want you to identify which liquids are sitting on top of one another. That may sound impossible, but it's actually not. If you use everything you know about density that you've learned in the prior two labs to this, or the two sections for the lab, you should be in pretty good shape. So follow the link to the density demonstration um, that's listed in the iTunes U course, and this will give you some possibilities for their individual identities. One of the layers may be vegetable oil, one may be dish soap, one may be rubbing alcohol, and another one may be uh, water. So I threw a curveball in there too. I used a little bit of food coloring, so color is not going to be the most reliable aspect here. All right. So do your best. Come up with a really good explanation about why you think each is each, and then submit your answers through the form that's linked through iTunes U. That's your challenge for today. Good luck.